President Trump says deportation rates are going to start this weekend, but Lane County is not on that priority list. But that doesn't mean that some people haven't had encounters with ICE in our area. And KZI 9 News reporter Evita Garza was at a restaurant today where an employee was detained and customers are feeling the void of his absence. John Peters and his wife have been coming to GJ's family restaurant for over 30 years. Been coming in here two, three times a week for ages. He says that after all the years of being a regular, he truly feels connected to everyone who serves him, specifically one person, Luis Barrentos. I, mean, I don't know what to say. He's just an individual that if I was able to pick a brother, I'd pick him. He's just honest. He looks you in the face. The owner of the restaurant says that Barrento showed what looked like proper paperwork when he was hired over a decade ago. But last month, Homeland Security called the restaurant and said he wasn't a citizen. He was then arrested while he was waiting in line to appear in front of a judge. Like I was telling you earlier, I'm a big Trump fan, but I think some of his administration is going a little too far in some cases. Abigail Molina, an immigration lawyer in Springfield, says that even though Lane County isn't on the deportation priority list, there has been an increase of ICE activity in Lane County. She also says that illegal aliens should be aware of their rights in this situation. Some people are, might be better off if they get picked up by ICE because they're kind of just in limbo right now. There's nothing they can apply for. But if they get picked up and they're before an immigration judge, there might be some options available to them. Since Barrento's arrest, his family and the restaurant have created a GoFundMe page in hopes of hiring an immigration lawyer for him. But most importantly, his family and friends like Peters just want him to come home because I uh, firmly believe that you get enough people praying and thinking about it, good stuff happens. So I mean, it's just, we want him to get through this quickly. Reporting in Eugene, Avita Garza, KEZI 9 News.